are odd and numbers like 10 and in I was you getting the it now? I was doing the pattern, so I Yeah, you was doing the pattern, but remember, as the number gets bigger, you're not going to be able to use your fingers anymore because you only have 10 fingers on I your hand. Use uh, hold on, I'm talking, so listen. So, if the number is bigger than 10, look at the ending. If there's a three at the end, it's odd. If it's bigger than 10, look at the end. If it's 17, it's odd. odd. If it's 13, 13 it's, odd. it's odd. Why is it odd in, for 13? Because it has a three. Because there's a three at the end. So what about 29? If the number is bigger than 10, look at the end. 29. Um, it's odd because it's a? Nine and There's a 9 at the end. And 10. You got it. Keep going. Like, Mom, Mom, are you 10? This. So that's your trick. Because you only. And the and nine is at the end. A good job. And I look at this. Both I am okay. Uh huh. Are you okay? So I can get the answer. Oh, okay. So what about mm, 11? The color, the color. 11. What about number 11? I mean number 11. Yeah, number 11. I'm tripping. Odd. That's odd. Why? Because it has two ones. Because there's a one at the end. And yep, yeah, you got it. You got it. And whenever a number ends in zero, is it odd or even? Just leave it. It's fine. If a number ends in zero, what is it? Even. It doesn't matter what number it is. It could be a thousand, ten thousand, a million. If it has a zero at the end, it's even. Even, even, even. You can split it down the middle. And on the left side and on the right side, it's going to have the same amount. It's even. They can connect. Now I got it. Now you got it. All right, let's go. Good job.